Another morning, same old chores. Let's go. First things first, let's wake everybody up. Food and water, check. Cuteness, double check. Cue the dogs going crazy because they don't get a walk every single day. Oh wait, they do. The walk is complete. Now we gotta check birds. With big feeders and waters, it's tempting to not go out there every day and check it, but you should. Anything could have eaten that or dumped their water over. They also get a little bit of scratch each morning, kind of to help the quail get through that bag before the bugs get bad in it, but also they love it. I had a much larger feeder than this one and I was carrying it up the hill and it broke. Feed went everywhere, so that's why there's leaves in it. Next up, the Bob White Coil. And all's a whale. And now back inside to the dart frogs. They get fed every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I whip them up a little protein shake with some vitamin powder in there from some extra calcium. And the protein is flightless fruit flies. There's many pit stops on the way sometimes, but I was out of turkey food, so at once it is. And I might as well replace that feeder that was broken. Alright, now we're gonna make it to the farm. There's a few roadblocks in the way. Here's where we divide and conquer. They're usually feeding the goats while I feed the sheep and check on the chickens. And Derek wanted me to mention here that the reason Katniss gets fed first is because she won't shut up. More. Don't worry, we went to the feed store the next day. See, I told you he was feeding the goats while I fed the sheep. Anne and Mary always have to do this little turn so they can rub across your sweaty legs and get their hairy bodies all over it. And this is usually where Elise makes her escape to try to eat the boys' food. Their food tastes better. <laughs> They'll run around to all the bowls and finish them all. I don't know why they do that. Whatever. You know that game Operation? That's kind of how this is. Don't let the bucks touch you because they smell horrible. And you can't rinse it off. You can't just use a little hand soap. It has to be like a full on shower. So you're going to smell that for the rest of the day. If you look to your left, you'll see me feeding the quail. If you look to your right, you'll see Derek feeding up hay bale. They'll get about a hay bale a week, and every three days they get some range cubes. That's just to keep them going into the corrals in case we need to take anybody to the vet or anywhere else. And moving on to the pigs. Each of these buckets has a certain amount of feed in there depending on how many pigs, what age they are, if anybody's lactating, blah blah blah. Somehow I can remember all this but I can't remember my name sometimes. And piglets get their feed soaked to cut down on dust.
After we feed the pigs, the goats are anxiously waiting to go grace. This time of year, the stock tanks are really low and the water's hot. So we'd rather not have the cows drink that murky stuff. It's not really good for them. And now it's time to water the turkeys. The sheep are out grazing, by the way, and their pen is open, so that's where they normally drink. But this tastes better, I guess. Remember that operation game again? When the cows are over here, they think I have feet in that bucket. And longhorns are not afraid to use their horns. See? I was going to explain the cow situation to the camera and... Oh man! Oh man. That's a freshie. Anyway, I was explaining that when I bring a bag of feed to the turkeys, the cows think they're getting fed, so they ambush me at the door. Luckily, they decided they had had enough and they left. Turkeys eat a butt ton of food. I don't know how the grocery stores can sell turkeys so cheap. I guess the producers get food really cheap. Almost like clockwork, these sheep are done by 2.30. I guess it just gets too hot or whatnot. They want their alfalfa and they want to go in the shade next to their fan. Okay, come on. These go on to about twice a day because this is what the sheep and goats drink while they're out grazing. Normally I'm bringing the butts back to their pen with alfalfa because after the does are done grazing, I let them out. I'm not sure why they didn't get two on this day. Notice the Steeler tongue right there. That's Shaq Jr. Ruby always shows me where to put the food because I forget every day. We have a series of hoses all the way back to the pig, starting at the front at the faucet. So we have to disconnect and water here and disconnect and water there. I hope one day you can be this talented. Sun or shade, algae grows everywhere and it grows fast. So a lot of times we have to dump it, clean it out and fill it again. These rain barrels are for the pigs. It has a piece of pex pack that goes out to two nipples on either side of the fence, and that's where they drink. Got three more. Just in case you've never seen my channel before, I'll remind everybody, pigs don't sweat. So when it's over 100 degrees, you gotta go cool everybody down. Showers, wallows, something to cool them down because they will die quickly from heat. Our pigs are not only grass fed, they're fruit fed. Or pumpkin spicy after Halloween. Derek has this down to a science who gets what size apple because their mouths aren't big enough sometimes.
Last thing we do at the farm is collect eggs. That way everybody had the chance to lay them. We head back to the house and give the dogs a treat. Then they get fed and Kaipu will not eat his food without some squirts of salmon oil. Can't forget to feed my fish, Clara. I used to have a fish named Courtney and I'd say, are you hungry, Courtney? This not fun with Clara. Clara, would you like a bit to eat? When the sun's about to go down, the chickens are ready to go up, but we don't want to forget to lock the door because predators could get in. So we bring them in with mealworms. If you addict your chicks to mealworms at a young age, they will follow you for mealworms. Well, most of the time. The quail aren't left out either. They get some too. Okay. Yep. Good night, queenies. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe. I upload on Sundays and you can keep watching us grow our farm. Have a good one.